right, what's up guys? Welcome to unit two, lesson three. Um, <clears throat> this is actually going to be the first part of, uh, the, of our final project. Um, so make sure that you, uh, you know, spend the time to do this part correctly. It is a bit longer um, than uh, what we did last week, but kind of just following the same principles. Um, so just to show you what it is, this is what it looks like. Um, it's, this is, uh, you know, using block letters, except this time <clears throat> we're going to be filling up the page with it and they are not going to be layered together. You also notice that some of the words are different um, sizes uh, and different letters are different sizes. Um, so yeah, uh, again, you know, last shot before you guys, before I move on to how you are going to start doing this. Okay. <clears throat> or sorry, why? So um, last week we, you know, explored a little bit about how art can, um, <coughs> excuse me, can, you know, be a form of uh, expression and self-identity and things like that. However, it can also be a form of protest, right? It can also be a form of expression in the things that you don't necessarily like or things that you don't represent yourself or who you want to be, right? So if you look at some of the words that I chose here, right? Greed, tyranny, poverty, war, uh, sexism, famine, racism, things like that, right? Those are all things in the world that, <clears throat> things in our world that I don't necessarily believe I <laughs> embody, right? I hopefully not. However, they are things that <clears throat> exist in the world um, that I would like to change, right? And by putting them on this piece of paper, using a visual medium to uh, bring it into existence, um, visual existence, uh, I'm making it you know, I'm essentially saying that these things are real through this method. Okay, I know that sounds kind of confusing, but uh, this is just one example of many things. And hopefully as uh, the final project moves on, you, uh, I, <clears throat> I'll have more time to explain to you. Okay, but to get started with this final project, what we are going to be focusing on are the things, the evils of the world. Okay, the things that you consider the evils of the world. All right, so what you're going to do on the left side of your paper uh, so you're gonna have a two page spread, right? The left side of your paper, you are going to be writing a, excuse me, a list of eight words. <clears throat> this list should consist of, um, anything you would want to change in the world. It doesn't have to be, uh, like as severe and as serious as some of the things I chose. Um, it could just be something like, uh, <clears throat> you don't like that, um, pigs or not pigs chickens are kept in small cages right so you can just say farms right that's one word or chickens right you want to choose eight separate words here okay put them all in a list and you're gonna be, uh you're gonna be using that list <clears throat> for your words for this project all right so again you know think really hard about what these words are going to be that is really important um <clears throat> because that is going to dictate what your project is going to be saying all right 